Hi, I'm Lisa Prather, and welcome to The Voice of Health with our host, Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where lives are changed every day through the natural approach to health care. We are continuing our series called Your Health from Head to Toe, where we take you from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. We talked about headaches in week one and then the jaw and TMJ last week. This week we come to the neck and are talking about the most important thing you can do for your health. And Dr. Prather, what exactly is the Atlas Orthogonal? It helps to be sort of self-explanatory in the name. Uh huh. The Atlas Bone is the top vertebrae in the spine. It sits right underneath the skull and holds up the uh, the head, so therefore it's called, it's a little tiny thing, and holds up this big head, so they decided Who's to call it the head? Atlas. <laughs> well, my oh, big head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, the head uh, is weighs about as much as a bowling ball. Really? And the Atlas, if you take it off, you know, uh, well, I've actually held atlases, real human atlases in my hand, and with it dried, you can actually blow it off of your it's hand. that light. It's that light. Mm-hmm. So it's holding up the uh, the skull. It's the top vertebrae. And it's also at one of the most critical areas of your body, uh, the lower brainstem, which controls the autonomic nervous system, which controls all the functioning of your body that's not under conscious control. Mm-hmm. So it's a very important, very, very important type of area. When I first got into chiropractic, I asked people, uh, the different chiropractors that I respected, what is the most important uh, adjustment in the body? Mm -hmm. And it was 100% in agreement that the atlas was. It was uh, the most important uh, area to, uh, to be working on. And I said, what is the most difficult adjustment? And they said, the atlas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's a a freely movable joint. It will rotate. It will, uh, there is some sliding back and forth. Uh, So it's a very light type of a a, a skeletal structure. Uh, It has a very critical area and is extremely important and the most difficult adjustment. So... I said, well, who is the best at adjusting that? Mm -hmm. And everyone was in agreement that it was Dr. Roy Sweat down in Atlanta, Georgia. So one of the things I decided to do was to uh, learn from him. Mm -hmm. And he was the developer of the Atlas Orthogonal Technique. Okay. So that's how you got involved. Right. And then the uh, orthogonal, that means at right angles. So... What we're looking at is that the atlas needs to go in a, a in a straight line uh, to gravity. Mm-hmm. So, and then the head, the center of the head needs to be directly above it, and then the cervical spine needs to be directly below. Uh, that's why it's uh, uh, that's why it's so critical, you know, is to bring that body back into a structural homeostasis. Mm-hmm. And there is a perfect position for that atlas to be at in relationship to that skull and cervical spine. And that's the basis of the Atlas Orthogonal Program. Interesting. And tell, um, tell us about the effect it had on your health. I know that's how you got involved, too, is uh, it was very helpful for, for your health. Yes, I um, went to a... Uh, chiropractor one I, I had developed Graves disease and uh, it's a hyperthyroid situation which also developed some parathyroid problems and led to a whole host of um, health issues for me mm-hmm. uh, the solution that the medical sy- system wanted to do in uh, for my condition was uh, a surgery mm-hmm. uh, to uh, remove part of the uh, thyroid and, and parathyroid uh, so but it would still have some long term types of consequences mm-hmm. uh, because of the body regulation so uh, that really didn't seem as a uh, legitimate type of a uh, solution for me and certainly not something that brought me back into uh, normal health so I was on a quest to find uh, the answers to my uh, own health issues and uh, the most important thing that I found uh, was that uh, adjustment. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had someone who uh, was uh, 
trained by Dr. Sweat, who adjusted me, and I got immediate changes. Mm -hmm. uh, within, uh, I had had the condition for four years. Uh, I was uh, 20 years old by that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was weighing 145 pounds, uh, and I've got pretty big structure. Mm -hmm. And as soon, as, well, after I got the adjustment, uh, I went into a very deep sleep. I felt completely different afterwards. And within three months, I had gone from 145 pounds up to 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I had actually grown an inch. And since I had started the condition, I hadn't uh, grown at all. Yeah, so someone listening would say, how could a procedure like that have such an effect? You know, and what, and you said you went into a deep sleep. What does that mean? Well, interestingly enough, I after the, the adjustment, uh, they took me in and laid me down to rest. And uh, I fell asleep before I even hit the pillow. Hmm. As a matter of fact, a lot of them the patients. As a matter of fact, yesterday I had a patient say, uh, after my adjustment, I went home and took a two-hour nap. Is that normal? Uh-huh. Uh, right. You know, because I was just, you know, just ready to sleep. And, and absolutely, that's, that's when the body heals itself. It's during that sleep cycle. Uh, mm -hmm. And I fell asleep, and I felt that they woke me up as soon as my head hits the pillow. Matter of fact, I said, why did you guys wake me up? I just laid down. Uh -huh. And everybody laughed because I had laid there for four hours. Wow. And is that the nervous moved. system settling down? That is the nervous system readjusting itself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, being able to uh, go into a healing process mm -hmm. is, what, um, uh, is what sleep is involved with. So it, uh, I, I could feel energy go from my neck all the way down to my feet and back up again. Mm -hmm. And there was a whole shifting of the nervous system. And uh, the nervous system, there's, there's two systems that, you, uh, that tells the whole rest of the body what to do. And they're very integrated. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of communication between them. Some people even consider them one system. Uh, is the nervous system and the endocrine system. Mm-hmm. And if those two things aren't right, then the, the, you know, the rest of the body is just not going to work correctly. Mm -hmm. Because it's the command center. Right. You know, if you don't have the communication going on, the, uh, what's telling the body what to do, you, you can fix everything else and uh, everything else will go right back to where it was because of the communication system. Mm -hmm. So the nervous system and the endocrine system are absolutely critical. Uh, and the alice orthogonal is dealing with the most important part of the nervous system. That autonomic nervous system tells the endocrine system and the whole rest of the nervous system what to do. So if that's not correct, then there's a definite problem. Yeah. So it's a very powerful, um, and I know you, you take x-rays. For this adjustment, correct, and analyze them. Correct. It's very specific. Yes, the x-rays are critical because you have to see what type of a pattern. The, um, the basis of the atlas orthogonal system is based on mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the beginning of the system was actually started with B.J. Palmer. He was the one that uh, said that the atlas was the most critical area. And he's the founder of chiropractic, correct? D.D. Uh, Palmer is. Okay. And then B.J. Palmer was the son who uh, got the schools going mm -hmm. and uh, was one of the founders of the chiropractic system. So he found that the atlas was the, what he felt was the most important adjustment. He mm -hmm. had uh, decided on that and had developed a technique along those lines to make it... Uh, to improve it. And then that was followed up by uh, Dr. Uh, Grostick mm -hmm. uh, in Michigan, who did uh, quite a few of pre and post x-rays and found that, uh, that there was actually even more of an analysis that could be done and started to get into the mathematics of the alignment of the cervical spine. So he did a tremendous amount of work along those those lines to help to develop it and develop something called the Grostick technique. The uh, Grostick technique uh, was uh, used and it was uh, done by uh, by hand, 
and uh, it was a very, very difficult type of a adjustment to do. Uh, most of the people who tried to learn how to do it uh, wasn't weren't physically capable of actually doing the adjustment mm -hmm. because it was so demanding on the system. As a matter of fact, I had learned how to do the hand adjustment before I got into the instrument, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I was able to do it, but it was very taxing on the body. So uh, Dr. Sweat was the first one who was certified to teach the Grostic technique un under Dr. Grostic. Okay. So he was the leading person under under that and felt that going to an instrument type of an adjustment would be uh, something that would help to advance the technique. Mm -hmm. One, it could be much more consistent because you don't have the uh, variabilities in the body. Yeah, it's very precise. Very precise. And then it's very mathematical, so you could get it down to within two millimeters of setting up the instrument mm -hmm. to make the adjustment. He went ahead and advanced that. And while I was interning with him uh, is when he uh, finalized the uh, Atlas Orthogonal Technique and System. Matter of fact, I was in the very first six students to be trained in the Atlas Orthogonal Technique. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. That was... <laughs> well, you don't have to say it quite like that. <laughs> to me, it wasn't that long ago, right. but 35 like years, I guess. Right? Yes, right. <laughs> All right. Well, up next, let's talk about Montel Williams and his association with the Atlas Orthogonal Adjustment. You can win a free 60-minute massage in a relaxing spa at the Prather Practice. Each month, we have a drawing to give away a free massage to one of our lucky Facebook and Twitter fans. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. <laughs> The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. How can acupuncture help pain? I've had many, many patients said that the acupuncture worked better than their cortisone shots mm -hmm. for the pain relief. And not only that, but it was <laughs> they could do it as often as they wanted to. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very nice type of thing. And we use the acupuncture... A uh, tremendous amount for any type of inflammatory or painful condition. Uh, it, very, very excellent relief. Well, in a way, is, is this how pain works? When one of those roadways are blocked, mm -hmm. then you have pain, correct? Correct. And acupuncture kind of opens that up. Opens, opens it up, redirects it, up. absolutely. And we get amazing uh, inflammatory relief. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's one of the things that, that we see on a regular, regular basis. And we get quite a few rever referrals for pain relief from the acupuncture with excellent results. What if someone's thinking acupuncture, you know, and they're afraid of needles? Uh, well, the nice thing is, is that we have, well, first off, the needles are as thin as a hair. When people think about needles, they think about a hypodermic needle. Mm -hmm. And you can put uh, probably... Uh, f at least five, maybe ten of those needles in one hypodermic needle. Mm -hmm. So they're very, very thin. Also, they're rounded on the end. They're not sharp. So, uh, you know, that you get very, you, very seldom do you get any bleeding. It's more of a toxic release if there is. But that will actually go in and kind of go between the skin cells. So there's very little problems. A lot of people compare it to a mosquito bite. Mm -hmm. The other thing is if you are just not going to do needles, Mm -hmm. We have lots of different alternatives. Uh, there's laser, there's electrical, we have an acupowder. I have several patients who do not even ever want me to show them a needle. <laughs> <laughs> they will pass out just like that. Well, a lot of times you don't even even feel it. Well, you don't. Mm -hmm. you, you really don't. Matter of fact, I had a patient who was uh, uh, laying down and she says, no, I'm deathly afraid of needles. And we're talking and I'm sitting there putting needles in there and we're going on and on. And she's laying face down, and she says, okay, tell me when you start. <laughs> you had already put it. <laughs> I had already done it. <laughs> that she, was sneaky. She thought it was fun. Well, I wasn't, plan I wasn't trying to be sneaky. <laughs> it just went that way. And that she says, sweet. oh, you're kidding. I thought you were just checking the points. <laughs> she said, I didn't even feel it.
Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. We're in the third week of our 10-week series called Your Health from Head to Toe, and this week our focus is on the neck and the most important thing you can do for your health, the Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic Adjustment. Dr. Prather, um, we talked a little bit about your training, but before that, I want on your website. On our website, we have a video of Montel Williams, um, and what is that? You know all about. I know um, he had suffered from multiple sclerosis and got involved with the Atlas Orthogonal uh, technique as a patient. Mm-hmm. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yes, uh, Montel Williams had been suffering with uh, multiple sclerosis and had f- tried a lot of different types of uh, treatments to help with that and had been recommended to someone who did the Atlas Orthogonal Program. And as he said, it was the most significant uh, most significant treatment with the best results of anything he's ever done. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said as he said he could tell an immediate difference it reduces his, his uh, discomfort uh, m- a tremendous amount of his symptoms and whenever he does go out of place on his uh, atlas he knows it immediately mm-hmm. uh, by his symptomatology goes in gets an adjustment and the uh, the uh, overall effects of the multiple sclerosis are greatly reduced so how does the atlas orthogonal adjustment help ms the uh, multiple sclerosis is a neurological disease uh, it is uh, scar tissue that actually forms on the spinal cord uh, with inflammatory uh, results. And when you do the adjustment, there is a, a reduction in the torque in the spinal cord. Okay. So there is a um, uh, dramatic changes that occur. Um, as I'm doing analysis for the, uh, to do the atlas orthogonal, Adjustment. There are a couple of things that I'm looking for. One is there are peripheral nerve uh, uh, problems going on. Mm-hmm. There are definite ways that uh, I can determine that. Um, one, you get a very sore neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are nerve tracings that we can do. There is weakness that occurs. If you do nerve uh, studies, then there is a, um, a definite change that occurs on the peripheral nerve system and what's going on, but we also evaluate the effects on the uh, spinal cord. Okay. And usually both of those things are are involved with an atlas uh, subluxation. So uh, the main thing is the is the effect on the spinal cord that makes such a difference with the multiple sclerosis, because there are actually connections to the spinal cord to the vertebrae. And if there's a twisting, if there's a, a misalignment, there's an increased tension on there. And uh, there are, are definite changes in the conduction of the spinal cord when that occurs. So when you get that straight and there isn't any torsion tension on the spinal cord, uh, there is a, uh, a relief of the pressure and there's a reduction of the symptoms of the multiple sclerosis that occurs with that. Mm. So what conditions does the Atlas Orthogonal Adjustment help? You touch, you know, here about MS. Certainly, uh, any type of uh, nerve problems, um, any types of peripheral nerve problems. Uh, looking towards the uh, atlas will be a very important type of way to uh, work with that. Any type of uh, central nervous system issues, mm-hmm. uh, we get good results with multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, ALS, all those different types of conditions. Uh, there was a recent study uh, done. Um, from a friend of mine uh, who uh, was sponsored by the um, uh, University of Chicago uh, where they did studies on uh, uh, hypertension, Mm -hmm. blood pressure. And uh, with the Alice Orthogonal Adjustment, uh, keeping that in place had uh, a greater effect on 
blood pressure than uh, medication. Wow. So, so about, what about neck pain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Any type with? of yeah, uh, headaches, mm-hmm. uh, migraines. Uh, uh, we have very strong uh, changes in uh, ADD, ADHD. Uh, very important to get that balanced out. We've had people who uh, had different types of seizures uh, have immediate changes. Uh, we've had uh, digestive problems fixed, uh, vision issues. Um, anything that the nervous system is involved with, uh, the Alice orthogonal technique might uh, help that. Mm-hmm. And, and the thought pattern on that is a, a structure function. Right. In other words, any time that you can get the nervous system balanced, you're going to make some dramatic changes in the in the system. And we're not saying that we have a uh, that it's a treatment for these different types of problems. Mm-hmm. But it's important. Uh, within our philosophy to bring the body back into homeostasis. Mm -hmm. The structural portion is extremely important to help to improve the function of the body. Now, how many people coming into the office, um, is is their atlas an issue, would you say? Uh, About 80%. And why is is that? Is it just such a... A high number? Yeah. You know, you're talking about a very freely movable joint. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's a lot of trauma that can occur to the neck, uh, even in birth. Mm -hmm. That can sometimes occur. It can start right Uh, there. As a matter of fact, we do do adjustments. Uh, We have uh, people bringing babies who are having different types of issues um, that uh, we do an atlas adjustment on them and and uh, see. But we don't do x rays on them. (laughs) No, we we don't need to do x rays. Uh huh. Uh, but uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a very very important type of a uh, structure to get back into place, uh, but it is also very easy to injure. Mm-hmm. It's uh, through either repetitive types of uh, 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 trauma or through uh, an initial trauma. Uh, car accidents are huge. Falling. Uh, it's it's a very easy misalignment to occur Mm -hmm. because of the weakness of the structure in the neck and some people don't even realize you say you know did were you in an accident and you know they they can't even recall of course if something Uh, a very interesting uh situation i had a a young gal came in with acne Uh uh-huh and uh, you know i was checking her and i said you know well your your atlas is out Mm-hmm. You know, because she could definitely feel the pain. She wasn't even aware of any neck pain. Mm-hmm. wasn't a, a uh, issue for her. And uh, I said, you know, we need to fix that. And she said, well, what does that have to do with my acne? Uh huh. Which is a very good question. And I said, well, you know, I explained to her how the whole nervous system works and and how much and uh, everything can get balanced out and how that's connected to the different organ systems and how that can help with detoxification. And uh, I said also, you know, you'll have less stress, you'll be able to think better. So uh, for overall health and well-being, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. She decided to do that. And we've got the Alice adjusted. And uh, she could notice an immediate change in her acne. Hmm. She said, how does that work? Mm-hmm. That is, she said that, now, is that the, always the answer for someone? No, you can have acne and not have your neck out of place. Right. Uh, but uh, she definitely could see a difference and came back in after uh, about a year later and said, my neck's out and my acne came back mm. and uh, got adjusted and uh, she could tell an immediate difference. Now, we did other things, too, to help out. Mm-hmm. Uh, detoxification of the liver, we did blood tests, uh, balanced out her hormones, all had a huge effect on that. But uh, nothing really would have worked unless I had done that atlas adjustment. Right. It would have always been a frustration. Why? Because the body couldn't go into homeostasis. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had, uh, 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 we had a young boy who came in and he was uh, 12 and still wetting his bed. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we were checking, and there's a lot of different types of homeopathic herbal treatments that we can do along those lines. And I said, well, you know, first off, his, his neck is out of place. Uh, the atlas is uh, misaligned, and uh, it would be very important to get that uh, line back up. So we took him in there, had the adjustment. We were going to start some other treatments. 
and uh, immediately that that first night uh, he didn't let his bed wow ever hmm. and uh, they came back and said wow that's miraculous does that always work I mean there's always different causes for different problems right the way that a structure function office approaches this is to balance out the system and the uh, nervous system, especially the autonomic nervous system, is one of the most important things that have to be balanced out. Mm -hmm. And this is a critical aspect of all that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, who should be checked uh, for the AO adjustment? And we're, we call it the AO for Atlas Orthogonal. Sure. It makes it a little bit easier. Right. Because <laughs> that is kind of a big word. And uh -huh. I have people, you know, I always, always tease people, uh, now I'm going to make you spell it next time. Right, right. Like, ooh, Even they get for nervous. our staff, yeah, we have to. <laughs> they, they get nervous at that point. Mm -hmm. um, uh, everyone should have a good physical once a year, just mm -hmm. to check and see how their entire health is. And one of the most important checks that should be done is, is there a misalignment in that area? That should be a basic part of everyone's check on a yearly basis to make sure that they don't have an atlas orthogonal uh, misalignment and if they do, to get that corrected. So everyone should be uh, checked on that. Uh, the general population, you'll find about 80% of the people who do have that misalignment. It's not 100%. Uh, we do have people come through and uh, really don't have an issue along those lines, which mm -hmm. is always great to see. Uh, but uh, about 80% of the people will show up that. And in independent clinical trials, uh, that is a number that has been shown to be uh, pretty well true. Mm, okay. Well, today we're talking about the Atlas Orthogonal. We'll be right back. Listen to the Voice of Health Radio on your smartphone or tablet on all of the top radio apps available. Tune in Radio, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. You can find these apps and more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is the Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Laughter is the best medicine. And I don't know why they need these little bits of psychological leverage over us all the time. Go in that little room, take your pants off, wait 15 minutes, and I'll give you my penny. And after that, anybody that comes in with pants on seems like they know what they're talking about. And any difference of opinion, pants always beats no pants. Have you ever been curious about how acupuncture can benefit your health? The Prather Practice has received the NDA List Award for Best in Acupuncture for two years in a row. Dr. Robert Prather is a board-certified licensed acupuncturist. He's earned a reputation for combining effective acupuncture-based techniques with cutting-edge technology to help patients with many conditions. Acupuncture is documented and proven to help with many health issues, including pain, allergies, addiction control, anxiety, fatigue, fatigue, vision problems, infertility, and so much more. Through the end of June, the Prather Practice is offering three acupuncture sessions for only $99. That's over 50% off of the regular price. We even have needle-free options for those who are a bit squeamish around needles. Call the Prather Practice to schedule your appointment and experience the benefits of acupuncture for yourself. 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. The Prather Practice. Practice, restoring hope. I'm Lisa Prather, and you're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where we get to the root cause of your health issue. We're in the third week of our 10-week series called Your Health from Head to Toe, and this week our focus is on the neck and the most important thing you can do for your health, the Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic Adjustment. And Dr. Prather, there are, um, you're board certified mm -hmm. in the Atlas Orthogonal, so there was extensive study, and um, I know when I talk to other chiropractors, um, they know how extensive you know, this Atlas Orthogonal. And um, am I correct to say you're the only board-certified Atlas Orthogonist in the state of Indiana? Yes. Okay. Well, what is involved, yeah, the requirements for that? It, uh, there is a, uh, a courses that you have to take, um, and then you also have to pass uh, several tests. Mm -hmm. uh, it usually takes about three years to become uh, board-certified as an Atlas Orthogonist. Uh, there are only uh, about 45 of us in the, in the world. 
Wow. Um, and it, it does take uh, uh, some definite time, usually some internship, uh, to be able to uh, get to the point that you can uh, pass the test. A lot of free hours, right? Yes. <laughs> Yes, so it is a very involved uh, type of technique to learn. Uh, I've had uh, quite a few different doctors come and uh, approach me on learning it and finding out the requirements to be able to become board certified, decide not to do it just because of the time commitment and the uh, study that's involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, There is a lot of mathematics, a lot of understanding to be able to, uh, first off, read the x-rays, Mm -hmm. and then uh, be able to translate that into the uh, proper um, proper coordinates to be able to make the adjustment and it's a very specific x-ray not only a specific adjustment yes but um, you know a specific x-ray it it does take quite a bit to be able to get the x-ray set up Uh, I've had a lot of x-ray techs come in uh, who said well I'm this won't be any problem uh, I'm, I'm an expert in, in uh, taking x-rays, and mm-hmm. I go through the process and uh, have them take some x-rays and have to correct them and say, no, this isn't quite right. And they said, wow, this is very demanding uh-huh. and uh, not an easy type because of Because you're getting uh, a whole different view right. that they, yeah, most technicians haven't been trained in. Uh, there there uh, actually requires uh, s- uh, specific types of uh, uh, instruments to be able to come up with the uh, just to be able to set someone up correctly. Mm-hmm. So it's not something that we can even send out to a hospital or a radiology mm-hmm. to be able to uh, get those x rays just because they are so sp- specific that mm-hmm. uh, people, yeah, <laughs> try to say that 20 times here early in the morning. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, very specific types of x-rays and, and not easy to accomplish. So uh, the x-rays are uh, very important. The examination is important. Uh, you do not want to do the atlas orthogonal adjustment, um, uh, you know, when it's not necessary. Right. Uh, it is right. a very precise uh, uh, type of adjustment. Um, well, let's talk about you use an instrument. Why do you use an instrument and what is the instrument look like yes and and the instrument was uh dr roy sweats he's actually has a patent on that uh-huh. and the instrument uh is very very specific you need to get it down within two millimeters both in the vertical resultant axis and the horizontal resultant axis uh you have to have the head placement just right you have to have the height of that so there's a tremendous amount of evaluation that goes into the placement along those lines Mm -hmm. and the reason that we use an instrument is being able to adjust the body and the hand to compensate within two millimeters is uh, next to impossible right so the uh, hand adjustment the way that it was uh, done originally was uh, very effective very good i have been trained to do that particular type of adjustment Mm -hmm. but it is very difficult and the accuracy of the instrument is uh, is definitely there Uh, you don't have to learn all the physical uh, requirements that are involved with it the training that goes into it so it actually it help to open up the uh, adjustment uh, one to more people doing it but also it makes it much more um, scientific and reproducible Mm -hmm. interesting so you know the settings that i i get uh, should be able to be done by someone else so it's a it's a very easily transferable type of a aspect and then it's much better for research and that's one of the big things that the atlas orthogonal program is involved with uh, matter of fact, uh, they were written up in um, the, and actually had a presentation at the uh, Spinal Biomechanics Conference uh-huh. um, out in Colorado, and uh, one of the very few presentations that actually got a standing ovation. Wow! Um, the top um, at the time that we were do- doing it, Dr. Sue, uh, who was considered as the the top spinal biomechanics uh, expert in the world said that it was the um, best information dealing with spinal biomechanics and the uh, best technique for uh, reproducible and scientific technique within the chiropractic profession. Mm, wow. Yeah. And he was no very excited about it. No wonder you wanted to be it. involved in that. And yes, it was, it was... Not only from personal experience, but... 
Yes, uh, and uh, I want you know very much involved with the uh, with the reproducibility, uh, something uh, that's very evidence based. The research that we have on that particular technique is it's overwhelming and irrefutable, mm -hmm. and uh, the results uh, in in any type of a test that we've done uh, has shown the benefit of this particular adjustment. Now, are there any contraindications? Um, to the AO adjustment? Uh, it, that's one of the, the um, great things about the uh, adjustment is uh, it's, it's a very light adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that when we first started out uh, developing the technique, uh, we had uh, cine radiography, which is moving x-rays to watch the adjustment uh, take place so that we could measure the, the results of the adjustment. Interestingly enough, when we first started, we had an instrument that would thrust down, but the harder we thrust, the deeper we thrust, the less movement we got. Wow. Reason is, is because the body would resist uh, the adjustment, is what we found, by doing different types of, of tests, uh, EMGs, that the muscles would tighten up. And uh, overcoming the body's resistance uh, was something that we found uh, just wasn't possible. So uh, we came up with a percussion adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, much like uh, playing croquet where you hold one ball still, put the other ball up against it, smack the one ball, the other ball goes. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we're doing with the uh, Alice orthogonal instrument. So there's a hammer comes down, strikes a solenoid in there, there's a compression force. That force comes out into the stylus and goes into the neck and is transferred through, and people don't feel it. As we tell them, well, the reason that we don't want you to feel it is because then your body doesn't resist it and we're able to still put a force in and the neck just moved like butter. Mm. Uh, the results were uh, astounding to us. We couldn't believe the changes in the cervical spine that we got uh, with this particular adjustment and uh, found that the percussion adjustment uh, was an excellent way to do it. Also because you are moving everything within the range of motion of the body. Mm -hmm. Some of the adjustments are based on um, mobilization type of philosophy. Mm -hmm. The atlas orthogonal is based on an alignment philosophy within chiropractic. The difference between the two, mobilization is you take the, uh, the joint to its limit of motion and then take a little bit farther to try to open up the joint is mm -hmm. the philosophy behind that. Whereas within the alignment philosophy of chiropractic, it's where you feel that something is out of place and you take it towards a, uh, uh, within its range of motion, towards a more normal. Mm -hmm. So a totally different type of philosophy than the average type mm -hmm. of adjustment. So all the adjustments are within normal, taking the spinal column uh, and the atlas towards the positioning that it should be. So there are really very, very, very few contraindications. Mm -hmm. I've even had people who've had fractures in the neck mm -hmm. uh, who, once they had healed, we had been able to do adjustments, which would be co totally contraindicated in other types of conditions. Uh, people with uh, vertebral artery syndromes, which is if you're doing a mobilization type of technique, you should never do that mm -hmm. uh, you know, with that uh, with those things going on. But within the atlas orthogonal, it's actually highly uh, indicated. Matter of fact, that's one of the things that uh, uh, that it's especially good for is uh, easing up vertebral artery syndrome. When, when I've had patients who, when they turn their head quickly, almost pass out. Mm -hmm. And that's due to a torsion of the vertebral artery uh, mm -hmm. through the atlas. Okay. And if you bring it back into normal, you uh, actually relax that so you don't get those types of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, those are also, uh, there's been concern about chiropractic and strokes. Right. <clears throat> and oftentimes the vertebral artery syndrome can be involved in that. And the atlas orthogonal technique is absolutely uh, safe in those types of situations. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we're recommended to have that done because it reduces the possibility of risk. Mm. So, that, and, and, and it doesn't hurt, right? Oh, no. People don't even feel it. Right. That's what uh, you're saying. Matter of fact, the biggest problem that I have is explaining, you know, people <laughs> say, wow, I feel totally different. There's a huge change, but I didn't feel anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that must be fun to explain, huh? It, it is. <laughs> so trying to explain that uh, is is something that is the main problem with that. But people can feel the the difference and the changes that occur. It's quite evident, and uh, it's very hard to refute that. Yeah, and what's nice is you you go in and. Um, usually they have x-rays on one day. You don't adjust on that same day of x-rays. Uh, that's because I have to figure out. Yeah, you have how to, to analyze them. You have to analyze it. Yeah. They're, they're, it's not it's a very easy involved. task. Yeah. And then they come back. You review, which is nice. You review the x-rays so they can see it. Um, and then take them in and explain how you're going to um, adjust them. Truly. Right. Uh, take them in, uh, show them the instrument, explain the adjustment. Uh, after the adjustment, we recheck and check on the neurology, check on the, the things that should change. We see immediate changes. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, I know that day whether uh, we accomplished what we were looking to, to, to see, and we can actually show that to the patient. The patients will feel the difference, uh, will see the neurological changes that occur. It doesn't mean that all their problems are taken care of. Right, right. There are, as we've gone through and the eight pillars of perfect health, there's a lot involved in mm -hmm. people's health, and there's a lot of different types of factors. Mm -hmm. Though this is what uh, I, I believe probably the most important factor, mm -hmm. but it is only one factor in the total uh, health of an individual. Right. We do not believe that this is a, a cure-all for everything. Right. Up next, we'll hear from a patient about the difference that the Atlas Orthogonal Adjustment made in his life following a car accident. Never miss an episode of The Voice of Health so that you can stay informed and empowered about your health. Get a podcast of our show automatically delivered to you every week by signing up for our show on iTunes. You can find that link on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And don't forget, thevoiceofhealthradio.com has complete archives of all of our past episodes with an audio library of information to help you add more life to your years and more years to your life. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. <laughs> The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. What is auricular therapy, Dr. Prather? Auricular therapy is where you're using the ear to make some changes throughout the body. Auricular therapy usually refers to electrical stimulation of the ear. And there can be a huge amount of changes that have occurred. I had a patient who had fibromyalgia, had had it for years and years. We had been able to get their system balanced out, but they still had pain. We went to the auricular therapy, and after a week of treatment, the patient patient had been on three different medications for pain, uh, was able to eliminate them all. It was a life changer. What we're trying to do along those lines is to change the perception of the brain on what's happening into the body. There are times where we can relieve the pain that someone has. In other words, there's an underlying cause for the pain that's actually occurring, and you can eliminate the underlying cause and people can still have pain or disease in different types of areas. Why is that? If you've had pain for a long, long period of time, the pain fibers become very used to sending that pain information even when the offending problem is no longer there. So when we actually look at using auricular therapy is when it's no longer a problem in the area, mm -hmm. but it's actually more of a problem in the brain. So auricular therapy, we're actually thinking more on balancing out, normalizing the electrical impulses of the brain. The brain actually has a holographic image of you hmm. inside of there. And the body might have a false image. And especially you, if it's been in pain for a while. Especially if it's norm. been pain and disease for a mm -hmm. long period of time. Uh, it actually gets used to that. And the brain will actually fight uh, changing that, that holographic image because it's become used to it. The interesting thing about auricular therapy, people who said, I've tried everything, nothing works at this point, those are usually the people that show up the best for the auricular therapy. Why is that? Because nothing has really treated the brain? Per because, se, that they yes, have? nothing has, has worked on the imaging of the brain. Mm -hmm. There is no other type of treatment. A pharmaceutical, nothing along those lines will treat that imaging of the brain. The ones that have no hope have 
been everywhere, tried everything. That's usually when you find auricular therapy uh, very, very dramatic, and you can get some amazing changes. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where our mission is restoring hope to our patients. We're talking today about the most important thing you can do for your health, which is the Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic Adjustment, as we continue our series called Your Health from Head to Toe. Next week, we'll be talking about shoulder issues. And we're joined by Trevor, a patient here at The Prather Practice, to share his story. I was rear-ended in an automobile accident in Bloomington, so um, I had a lot of pain um, up and down my spine, my neck, uh, a lot of issues with mobility, and um, pretty much the general whiplash um, symptoms. And uh, I, in terms of what what I received here, um, uh, chiropractic adjustments, some physical rehab to to work on strengthening and um, uh, stretching the muscle tissue. Um, I received some some massage and some auricular adjustments, which is kind of like acupuncture. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, what kind of symptoms after your accident? You know, you mentioned whiplash. What kind of symptoms were you having? Well, I was um, in terms of symptoms, I was having a lot of pain um, throughout over most of my body, but the majority of the pain was um, in my neck area and my low back, and that's where I experienced most of the pain. Was it affecting you functionally, your your daily life? Yes. Um, I, I go through two full-time school programs, and it was difficult um, to perform perform the duties that I needed to um, in those school programs. And sleep was also an issue. I was having um, – I was waking up in the evenings and um, having trouble getting comfortable because I couldn't really find a position to lay in that wasn't painful. Mm. So, in your experience, you said the services you received, chiropractic, chiropractic adjustments, you also had rehabilitation, and some massage and auricular therapy. Um, what did you experience um, with those treatments? Well, first and foremost, um, after the um, initial uh, x-rays and, and evaluation, the first procedure that was performed was um, an, an atlas adjustment. Uh, which was something I was not familiar with at the time, um, but it turned out that 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 one particular procedure uh, changed everything. I felt a hundred percent better um, following that um, that particular procedure, and then the chiropractic adjustments, the rehab, the auricular, and the massage kind of got me from that feeling good place to a place of normalcy. So where I was used to feeling like that, um, I wasn't. Um, I still had some some pain in the beginning, um, but it was considerably less. And as we went through the treatment, it just got less and less, and I was able to deal with it in the in the right way. Great. So you're going to be discharged from care here real soon. We're going to miss you around here. That's what happens. <laughs> but um, what have you know since these treatments? Um, what have you experienced, and, and what are you looking forward to from the treatments? Uh, well. Coming in with a lot of pain, I, from that first adjustment on, um, reduction in pain has been the number one thing. Um, the rehab that I received uh, gave me a lot of strength-building exercises to keep me healthy and keep me um, from um, needing adjustments constantly. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of practices, you need adjustments weekly for the next you know, six, seven, eight 12 months um but we got to a place where where i could kind of deal with it and um one thing that i was really concerned about was i don't take any sort of prescription medication and um dr prather was was uh, adamant about seeing that through for me um, and being able to manage pain without medication so that's kind of what i'm looking forward to is being able to to continue strengthening my back and my neck and um deal with pain without medication that's been really important to me right um, if someone's listening and considering treatment here, what would you tell them? 
I would say to absolutely come and uh, to get evaluated, find out what options that they have available for you, um, and just come try to find a, a better way to deal with um, pain or to just start to feel better um, because traditional medicine in the medical doctor hospital sense um, is not something that I particularly find appealing, but the, the practices here at Pray Through Wellness has just been, been amazing for me as a um, holistic um, type person. Well, thank you, Trevor, um, you know, sharing that. I know someone that's listening out there, it will definitely help them. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So, Dr. Prather, in Trevor's case, what did you find on exam that you knew that uh, his atlas was misaligned? Uh, there were neurological signs down into his arms. Uh, there was weakness in the hands. Uh, as we did tracing on the uh, nerves coming down from his neck, uh, both the ulnar and radial nerve were impinged. Uh, he also had uh, some upper motor neuron signs and then had a leg length discrepancy, which is usually signs that the spinal cord is being impinged. Um, along with that, uh, whenever I would uh, palpate the, uh, the exits of his nervous and up in his neck, uh-huh. uh, he would make awful faces. <laughs> <laughs> and he was suffering from a lot of uh, neck pain, headaches, uh, all the symptoms that go along with that. So, yeah, and I, I think he didn't come in right away after his accident. He didn't hear about us till right. I think, four months down the road. Yeah, he had tried other different types of uh, treatments, physical therapy, things like that. Um, so when we, uh, we got him in there, he really hadn't had... Uh, any relief and had been recommended to come in to see us uh, as we were uh, examining we showed uh, you know his need for it it was very obvious uh, that he needed that corrected uh, we took him into the uh, adjustment uh, did the atlas orthogonal adjustment uh, got him up and immediately all of his pain was gone mm-hmm. all of his neurological signs were gone uh, which is is a very common type of finding that we we have with the with the program. Right. So he, I know, know he received other therapies that were very helpful, but he said the atlas orthogonal is what relieved absolutely. The pain. What you know the the atlas orthogonal adjustment, yeah, it certainly isn't by you know at all the only thing that we do in right, our office. Right. The mm-hmm. uh, There are. Um, well, one, most people don't need an atlas orthogonal very often. Mm-hmm. Uh, adjustment. That, mm-hmm. uh, that particular adjustment. Uh, because it's, uh, it's something that holds, uh, it's an immediate type of change, and it's not something that we usually have to repeat on a... Uh, most people hold it at least a year. Mm-hmm. Now you're adjusting longer. the other areas of the spine, like for Trevor, but he hasn't had to have his atlas adjusted Correct. again. There are there are manipulations for the rest of the spine. Um, we adjust every bone in the entire body, mm-hmm. um, but uh, it's the atlas is something that we need to have hold. The longer we can hold, that's why we do exercises. That's why we do a lot of the treatments, and that's also why we do a lot of the other adjustments. Mm-hmm. To help that to uh, stabilize and hold its, uh, it, you know, the longer it holds, the more healing occurs. Now, what if um, Trevor would have gotten that help? You know, he, he had car accident, and many people get in car accidents and um, don't get the atlas orthogonal adjustment, unfortunately. Sure. Um, what, what can happen? At, well, the body at, tries to compensate. There is there is a lot of shifting that occurs. Uh, there's shifting in the rest of the spine to try to take off pressure mm-hmm. in the uh, atlas area because it wants to preserve the uh, the integrity of that area. So the body learns to compensate. Uh, it also causes some degeneration. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a uh, the ligaments will actually calcify to try to reduce the motion in that area so that there isn't as much irritation of the nervous system. So there's a tremendous amount of degeneration that occurs Mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. So the sooner that we can uh, get those uh, fixed, uh, the quicker that uh, the less degeneration actually occurs. Uh, Matter of fact, I can usually tell just by looking at the x-rays about when that particular accident occurred, how long ago. Uh Uh-huh. 
I said, wow, you had some type of an injury uh, about uh, 18 years ago or 20 years ago, 25, five years ago, Mm -hmm. three years ago. Because I can tell by the changes that have occurred in the cervical spine due to the uh, misalignment in the atlas. Mm. Uh, that is something that is evident on the x-rays, and uh, uh, usually we're, we're quite quite dead on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, it, you know, it was a real positive experience um, for Trevor and, and really helped his, um, you know, healing and... And you see that often. Yes, it, and you really don't heal unless you have that fixed. There, there mm-hmm. isn't a resolving of the issue. There is a compensation that the body does because the body is miraculous on, on how it works with things. But if you don't have that atlas back into a proper type of positioning, uh, there's going to be uh, consequences to that, and there will be changes that uh, can become permanent. Mm-hmm. Well, Dr. Prather, you have a few um, seconds. What would you um, like to conclude with on the atlas orthogonal adjustment? Uh, Definitely that should be a part of everyone's uh, yearly exam. Uh, If someone has some unresolved types of health issues, having uh, having the atlas checked to make sure that that's functioning properly would be an important part of uh, the overall evaluations of someone's condition. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Prather, as always. We're out of time for this week. The Prather Practice is located at 8902 North Meridian Street on the north side of Indianapolis, just south of the I-465 loop. If we can help you to achieve better health, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with our office at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Join us again here next week or anytime on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com for The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather.